the last sting, a bee's way farewell. Timmy and Sophie were eagerly exploring their grandmother's beautiful garden. They marveled at the vibrant colors of the flowers and listened to the buzzing of the bees. Timmy suddenly felt a sharp pain on his finger. Ouch! Sophie, something stung me. Timmy cried out. Oh no, Timmy, let me have a look, replied Sophie, concerned. She examined his finger and saw a tiny stinger lodged in his skin. Look, there's a bee stinger, but why does a bee die after stinging? Curiosity sparked, the siblings decided to find the answer together. They hurried inside to their grandmother, who had extensive knowledge about the garden and its inhabitants. Grandma, why does the bee die after stinging? Timmy asked, showing her his pricked finger. Grandma smiled, glad to see her grandchildren's enthusiasm for learning. The reason lies in the design of the bee stinger, she explained. When a bee stings, its stinger has tiny barbs that get stuck in the skin. As the bee tries to fly away, it tears its own abdomen, causing severe harm to its organs. Sophie's eyes widened in astonishment. So the bee sacrifices its own life to protect itself or its colony, she asked, seeking confirmation. Grandma nodded. Exactly, dear. The bee is willing to give everything to defend their home. Timmy looked thoughtful and asked. But Grandma, what about honeybees? Do they all face the same fate? Honeybees have barb stingers too, but they have an extra disadvantage. When a honeybee stings, the stinger and venom sac remain in the victim's skin. Sadly, the honeybee loses not only its stinger but also its vital organs, leading to its eventual demise. That's so sad, sighed Sophie, feeling sorry for the honeybees. Grandma nodded, her eyes filled with admiration for these incredible creatures. Indeed, it is a sacrifice. However, not all bees have the same fate. Bumblebees, for example, have smooth stingers without barbs. They can sting multiple times without injuring themselves. As the sun set on their enchanting garden adventure, the siblings thanked their grandmother for the fascinating explanation. Timmy looked up at the sky and smiled mischievously. Hey, Grandma, can you tell us more reasons why things happen in nature? Grandma laughed. Of course, but that's for another day. It's time for dinner now.